Well, CBS 2's Tina Fatel continues our team coverage now. She's near Lytle Creek and has more on burn area preps for the rain. Tina? Well, it's just lightly starting to rain here now, but everyone in this foothill community is waiting and watching to see if the hillsides will hold after a major fire earlier this year. You're going to come back from here or what? When Malia Smith heard about the storm moving in, she decided to grab a few extra sandbags from the nearby fire station. We'll stack them up and make a little, you know, it comes down the road, so we'll just make a little barrier and keep it away from the trailer. She's dealt with heavy rains in the area before, but she's worried about all the hillsides ravaged by fire this summer. I don't know what's going to happen up there because there's a, I mean, there's a whole lot of burn area up there that we don't see. You know, it's not just this is the end of the burn area. So, you know, it all rolls downhill. Bernilda Halkaday is also concerned. She lives close to Lytle Creek, which is prone to flooding. You can see like trees and big rocks going down and the rocks come just tumbling. Down. It's so forceful. The floods have washed out the road leading to Lytle Creek in past storms. So Hockaday is always prepared with a few days of supplies in case she gets stuck at home. Especially like if you take medication and stuff. Mostly the medication, you know. She's hoping for the best with this storm. So are her neighbors. You're gonna do what you can do. I mean, you can only do so much. And homeowners tell me that they have had crews from flood control that have been in the neighborhood the last couple of days setting off some K-rails and also talking to people to make sure that everyone is prepared if the rain starts to come down heavier tonight. Back to you.